Hi everybody, Dave back here in the workshop. Uh, it's time to do some jigging. Or make some jigs, I guess is probably a better way to phrase it. Uh, last year I made a video about how to make pompano rigs. Those are for bottom fishing in the ocean. Um, you really can't use those in places where you should be jigging. And that's with you know, giving the bait the movement. So bridges, flats, boats, um, that's where jigging is typically done. And I started out by buying some, had some donations from some fishing friends when I saw them catching and I wasn't. So of course, if you wanna go the route and buy them at the store, you're talking three to $4 uh, a set for what you need to make one jig rig. And uh, that adds up. So uh, being the frugal fisherman that, that I am, uh, I need to find a way to do it cheaper. And I'll show you if you want to go on the on the ultimate cheap I'll show you how to get there uh, there are some shortcuts and I, I do use some of the shortcuts as well so we'll take you through all the raw materials that you need all the tools uh, you don't have to have fly tying kits uh, setups and tools to do this we, we do it with basic hand tools well one power tool which saves a little time and uh, take you through the whole process and I've completed some already and I've got some laid out to, to finish up. So let's have a look and uh, this should bring down the cost of your jigging fishing quite a bit and uh, because it's you end up losing a lot of these. Uh, I, I do. But when you're around bridge pilings you get hooked up. Uh, you catch mackerel on these and ladyfish you might end up losing some because they're they're toothy right. So uh, it's not hard to go through quite a few of these. So I'm probably gonna make uh, 30, 30 sets up this year. And then I'll have raw materials for another 30, but I won't make them up yet. All right, so let's have a look. All right, before we get started on the, the jigs, I thought I'd show you one quick tip. Um, when I posted my rig making video last year, somebody saw that and said, hey, did you ever see the Salt Strong video about how to use flip-flops to make floats and I said no so I went and looked at it and here's what you need you need a pair of flip-flops and uh, what you're gonna end up with are these beautiful half-inch floats if you go on Bass Pro website they're over two dollars for ten of them so um, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the cheap so you need a pair of flip-flops you need a copper um, a copper piece of pipe you can point the end a little bit um, and uh, an ice pick or an awl or something. So it's fairly straightforward. Put the sh put sharpened end of your, your copper pipe. A couple taps. I guess those are more than taps. Pop out your float. Sometimes it'll just go right up into the end. Take your ice pick be safer to do it this way go straight down basically if you're piercing it making a hole there's your float All right so going in the box one more for next year um, so I'm making up rigs now that have that anyway just wanted to show you that so you're talking a uh, hundred floats the dollar store by the way is dollar 25 now so what am I down to? I'm gonna get probably a hundred. That'll give me, uh, you know, just over a penny a piece. So I like that better than over 20 cents a piece. Anyway, uh, while you're at the dollar store, if you're gonna make jigs, you need some material to make your flies. Now you can go on um, fly tying sites and go on eBay and Amazon. You'll find all sorts of amazing natural and artificial materials uh, which you can use to make the tails on the flies. Um, I find that this was some sort of thing I found at the dollar store but it's got multiple colors of uh, knitted onto a mesh backing which is nice because that helps retain the fibers and then a piece of tinsel type thing that I found from another dollar store a uh, buy and that's basically what you need. Of course, you need some hooks, uh, probably like number fours. Maybe you can get away with some twos and threes. 
um, but four is the typical size. Uh, I'm using these mustads for the most part. And then you're gonna start uh, snipping material off the edge of that, uh, that fabric that you purchased or whatever material you, you have available. You're gonna get, you're gonna make yourself some bundles of fibers and then bundles of the tinsel. As we're gonna, we're gonna actually attach those on to the, the weighted, or onto the, the bear hook. And then a jig comes with a, with a weighted hook as well. So these are goofy jigs, wiggler jigs. So, you know, they come with a variety of names. Uh, everything comes in different colors. So I'm making all sorts of different color combinations. You know, pink with pink. Here's a white with a, a green. Here's a white and pink with pink. Here's a chartreuse with, with green. And there's another chartreuse with green. Now this one is actually made on a weighted jig head, not necessarily a bare hook. Um, this is a, just a different way you can do it. So I'm gonna end up with some of each. Now, uh, the, weighted, the weighted hooks, I don't suggest you make those, although I suppose you could, but they're pretty reasonable to buy. You can buy probably 20 to 25 of them for $3, I believe it is, at Walmart. So not bad. But let's take a look at one of the shortcuts. All right, here's one of the shortcuts that you can do. These are um, essentially crappy jigs. So you can buy these uh, 10 for $2, something like that. So you're, you're getting down um, even cheaper in some cases, sometimes 20 for $2. Um, I do cut the, the, the tail feathers down a little bit. So these are weighted hooks, usually an eighth ounce, um, and they come in different sizes and colors as well. So if, and it's got like a number four hook on it. So essentially you can just buy these and buy the weighted hooks and make your rig. And we'll, we'll make some and show you that. Uh, here's another case where I ended up with too many yellow. So I got out some white nail polish, another dollar store purchase and uh, made some, some white hooks out of yellow hooks. And I do that fairly regularly because I think white is a better color to have in many cases than those yellows. So if you spend eight or ten dollars on crappy jigs, you can end up with, you know, two trays full of, of crappy jigs, different colors. And you see the, the variety that is available out there. So that's the shortcut. Uh, you can buy the crappy jigs um, and then all you really have to do is get your weighted hook, uh, make the rig and bag it. Now, a lot of guys actually don't bag them and don't pre-make the rigs. I like to, um, they'll tie them real time. It's pretty simple. I'll, we'll show you the, the knots that are necessary. And uh, uh, if you wanna just have loose raw materials and then tie your rigs as you go when you're out jigging, that's, that's fine, makes sense. So what else you're gonna need here? In addition to, um, I use snap swivels at the top of my rig. Uh, some guys just tie direct line to line. I like the snap swivel because I do like to change frequently and I don't want to retie. So on my leader line, I'll just un unhook the, uh, uh, this basic uh, swivel and uh, have a snap swivel above that on my main line and then I'll just change out the, the jigging rig. Uh, 20 pound uh, line we're using here. Uh, you're gonna need uh, some super glue. Don't get the little packet types. Try to find this type, again, a dollar store item. Try to find the type that has the cap. So it's easy to reseal. Um, you can use it to make literally dozens and dozens and dozens of, of jigs. And of course I use this for fixing rods and reels as well. It's helpful to have a bobbin for your winding line. You don't need a bobbin, but a bobbin does um, come in handy with managing the line as you're working. Now, here's the last thing that you, you need to invest in. And that's uh, what I use is just a simple battery drill. You chuck your hook in there and there you see you get it chucked in 
and put a little power to it and you see how easy it is to rotate that and that's what we'll do so we're going to start building a uh, a jig right now we're actually going to build the teaser and then we'll take the teaser combine it with uh, one of those weighted hooks and, and make a jigging rig for you all right let's begin we're going to start with our line I'm going to start out a little bit away from the end of the hook because I do want to make a little bulb. And that little bulb is going to be uh, a spot to help um, flare out some of the, the fiber that we're having. So let's get this started. All right, there we go. So now we've built up a little bulb of area. We're gonna reach for our first strip of fiber. Now we're basically gonna put this right on the hook. The, the tail end of the fiber is going off to the hook end. And we're just gonna do a couple wraps here. And then we'll, we'll use our power tool appropriately. Let's put a little drop of super glue on there. Keep winding. So there we've got a nice section of that on. Let's put another section on. And after we wrap this section, we're actually also going to put on that tinsel teaser material. We're grabbing a few fibers of that. Sometimes it's better to put these on with a uh, pair of tweezers or a little our needle nose. So we'll get those wrapped on. All right. I don't want to double it over too much. I want more of the teaser coming out the back. So let's put a little drop of super glue on there. And then we're going to wind this thing closed. A little more thread. All right, so I think you're seeing how it's taking shape. I am going to snip off. This is our piece of thread. Another dab of some super glue. Do a couple final wraps. Uh, I seem to have found that these don't really have to be pretty, and uh, fish don't really seem to care. So, all right, that looks good. Let's snip this off. Now, I am going to. So, this is also where you can change the color uh, if you wanted to have this be a little more um, white or if you wanted yellow or chartreuse it's the nail polish combinations that are available out there are pretty much unending and you can decide what color you want to put on I'm gonna go with the sparkle black so we have a little of our sparkle black and we're just gonna simply paint our tip of our jig with some sparkle black. This is actually our teaser. That's all there is to it. So that is done. So let's uh, pull this out of the drill chuck here. 
so you can see exactly what we've got. So we've got our number four O'Shaughnessy hook. It's got some flash on it from the tinsel material. It's got some of that chartreuse, sorry, some of that hot pink. Um, I'm gonna cut this off a little shorter, maybe quarter inch beyond the end of the hook. So that'll be a nice little, nice little teaser fly. Um, based on what I've caught on these jigs, on these uh, jigging rigs, 90% of the fish you catch on the teaser. So not on the weighted hook. Uh, some you do catch on the weighted hook, but the majority of the catches uh, do, do go to the teaser. All right. There it is. So with that, let's take that teaser and this uh, weighted goofy jig and let's make up a complete uh, Pompano jigging setup. So there are actually two variants of this, of this uh, setup and it's one of the things I'm going to experiment with this year is uh, trying both out and seeing which works the best. I'm going to start with uh, about six feet of line. Again, I'm using uh, 20 pound. So, uh, first way to do this is we're going to put, we're going to make a loop knot, just about a six inch long loop. All right, and we're going to end up putting both the weighted hook and the teaser on that loop so they're free to swing. That's the first method. Let's take a close look at that. I haven't made the loop yet. You actually need to thread the weighted hook and the teaser onto the line before you knot it. Um, so we're gonna start, at, and I will say that sometimes you, I keep a little push pin around Sometimes when they paint these hooks, the, the eye of the hook, uh, where you need to run the line gets filled with paint. That's also true on the crappy jigs, the pre-made ones, uh, purchased ones. So you may need to use a little pin to, to clear the, the paint out of there, but you thread the, the end of the line through the weighted jig, and then you thread the same line through the teaser fly that you just made. So there you can see, I've got the weighted hook and the teaser. I've got the hooks pointing in opposite directions uh, so that they're not both pointing in the same direction. Uh, and then we're basically gonna do a simple loop knot here. Pass these through, tighten it up. This is again, not a knot tying video simple overhand loop knot and then we're going to clip off the tag at the end and then we'll show you what we got up, what we got now so there you can see we've got on the loop this is our leader we've got about a six inch long loop and the teaser and the weighted hook can fring swing freely and independently from each other they're both on the same loop but they're not attached. And so the theory on how this works is when you're jigging, uh, the weighted hook falls quickly and the teaser floats a bit. So you get this motion uh, in the water column of the teaser up and down, both going up and down, and the teaser kind of being separate from that weighted hook teasing, teasing the uh, pompano. And uh, we'll finish this off. We'll put a, I put a simple barrel swivel at the end. And uh, again, I do that for quick change purposes um, to make it quick and easy to change. Other guys would never do that. They would say, well, that weighted hook or that uh, barrel swivel is an obstacle that they don't want to have to overcome. And uh, that fish can see it, blah, blah, blah. 
I think if your your rig is long enough, you really don't need to do that. So that's it. We've got our our loop knot with our teaser and weighted hook, and as I said, I, I tie a a barrel swivel on there as well. We'll bag that up. That one's done. So you could see that you know most of the effort goes into making the uh, the the teaser not hard. It can be cheap if you get your materials and source your materials at the right spot, right place, and um, I think this will be fairly effective. So let's look at the other way we can tie these, and I'll use one of the other ones that I've already got ready to go, and I'll, I'll show you the other way to tie it. It requires a loop knot and a T-knot dropper loop, uh, and fairly straightforward. So let's take a look at that. Okay, for this for this version, we're going to start again with the same length of, of leader line, 20 pound, and we're going to start the process in a very similar way, but in this case, with the loop knot at the bottom of the rig, we're only going to tie the weighted hook. That's it. No teaser at this point. So let's make that. Slip off the tag so we don't have a big tag end. So there you can see, there's our loop knot with the weighted hook. Up the leader, from that, we're going to tie a T-knot or a dropper loop. Again, this is not a knot tying video. Um, you're going to have to go to um, Salt Strong or go to uh, Hey Skipper. They'll teach you how to do these knots. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to tie it. All right, so there you can see I, I put a, a dropper loop. And guess what's going on the dropper loop? All right, so there it is. So we've got our teaser dropper loop, maybe three inches. I'm gonna try some with shorter dropper loops and then our uh, loop knot at the end for the weighted hook. So the weighted hook can, free, can still swing freely and obviously this teaser is, is going up and down uh, as you're jigging this rig. All right, so those are the two methods. Um, one with the teaser with the weighted hook and then one with the teaser tied separately uh, 12 to 18 inches up. So that's what I've seen guys using and uh, so we'll we'll try to give you some feedback later this year um, as we get into the season on which one's working most proficiently. All right, thanks a lot. Um, hope that helps, hope you learned something. Uh, again, uh, you're under 25 cents typically to make a, a setup like this and uh, when you're going through a lot of them, that's a lot better than the uh, 2 to $3 you're going to pay a piece uh, if you go try to hunt them down already pre-rigged. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, please say hi if you see me out uh, jigging at the bridge or out in the flats this, uh, this fall. Thanks a lot. Bye.